What's going on, warehousers? Hi. You know us. Or at least you think you do. You think you do. Um, we just want to take a quick moment to explain to you guys how we score our whiskeys. Yeah, we've uh, we've been reviewing whiskeys for over about two years now, or maybe a little over. Yep. And we haven't really explained how we come to our scores. You know, kind of, at first it was kind of like, you know, throwing a number out there that seemed right out of 100. But uh, we've been working on a kind of a, you know, layout of how we score those whiskeys. So I did a little thinking, or we did, and I wrote down some some notes. Something we're familiar with. Uh, so, 96 to 100, we rarely score whiskey this. No. This would be considered the perfect whiskey, in our opinion. Godly. And Godly. Wouldn't change a thing, just a very unique whiskey, one of kind. Mm-hmm. Have we had any whiskeys like that? Uh, I think Smoke Wagon was one of them. Smoke Wagon, and I think Alberta might have been up there, maybe. Yeah, and then I think I scored that Rebel Yell up there. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, oh, right, yeah. The weeded one. Right. And I think I sto- uh, scored Stag Junior at a 96. Yeah. Yeah. And below that is uh, 90 to 95, which would be considered almost perfect. Um, yeah, about that. Almost perfect. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Like it's amazingly good. It's still very special. It's, yeah, it's, it's special and it's almost unicorn status. It would be. Or, I think it'd be opinion, considered it be. unicorn yeah. status. Yeah, yeah. We've had a couple that were not unicorns at all. That we were like, oh shit, this is good. Right. It, it, yeah. If, if people stumbled onto it. Right. They, they weren't rare, but they were just they were damn good. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got eighty-five to eighty-nine. This would be considered an amazing whiskey still. Um, the majority of our reviews are if, in that area. Right, and this would probably consider, like, would always have it on our shelf if we could afford it, if possible. Yep. Like, uh, the Elijah Craig um, 18 falls in this cat category. Yep. But um, it's not very um, possible to keep it on the shelf since it's so expensive and mm-hmm. so rare. What's great about this is, about this area is, I mean, this this will range from Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. Mm-hmm. to the Elijah Craig 18. I mean, right. there's so many that'll fall in it's that category. It's a huge price gap. Yep. Yeah. It can go all the way from everyday shelfer all the way to freaking unicorn. Bottom shelfers, the top shelfers, to, you know, barrel picks, everywhere Impossible in between. Possible to get things. Right. Uh, and then we got 80, 80 to 84. Um, this would be still great, just missing a few things. Yeah. So this would be kind of your... I don't know. What are some that we've ran into that kind of fall in this category? I think uh, Larceny kind of ran into this. I could see it. Because it's good. It's great, but, you know, it's still missing a few things. Kind of kind of a basic whiskey, you know. Yeah, you can see behind us all the whiskeys we reviewed. Um, uh, Bullet, maybe, in I there. I think that was that would be one now. We, we did do the regular Bullet. We, we haven't done the regular one. No, um, we haven't. Knob Creek, maybe. Yeah. Um, you kind of you're just run run of the mill whiskeys. Yeah. I don't have anything for that. I think like probably just like an Evan Williams like black label, black label probably yeah. in there somewhere. Right, and then we got seventy five to seventy nine, which would be good, still enjoyable. This would be like I don't know, like a Jameson or Jack Daniels, yeah. I think. Something. I know we've had a couple. I just wish that I could remember what they were. That's what they are basically. Is they're mm-hmm. kind of. Something you would pick up and share with everybody. Ezra Brooks, I th- no, that was that was too high. good. Yeah, that, that was probably that was like great for that was the great. price. Yeah. Oh man, we got yeah. we've done a lot, guys. So we've done, yeah, we've got a lot to uh, you know think back to. Then we got uh, sixty-five to sixty-nine, which would be okay. I don't think I've ever put anything in that. Yeah. Um, still drinkable. Think about mixing it. So this might be like Kentucky a uh, gentleman. Uh, I don't think. Country- is that Kentucky Gentleman that high? I thought we were rated that a lot lower. You guys did. I mean, it's. Um, I think this is still like Jameson status, you know, kind of your basic whiskeys. Uh, yeah, something like that. Think about like mixing it. Maybe Jack still. Uh, maybe like a Seagram Seven. I don't yeah. know. Something with not much flavor. What's that one that we had? I feel like a few weeks ago that was good, but we'd rather, like, mix it. It wasn't very good at all. I don't know. Was it a shelfer? 
Man, I can't remember. We haven't done Chelfers in a long time. I know. Damn, I don't remember. Shit, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, we've done a lot of whiskeys. Uh, 59 to 64 would be like a shooter, something just to get the job done. Uh, whiskey you would think about you know, like giving away or cook with, something like that. Something yeah. like old Dan Tucker <laughs> or uh, <laughs> um, fucking that fake whiskey was probably in there. I put that at a one. You put that at a one? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, uh, we gave that away. That falls in that category. We gave it away to Trent because, you know. He wanted it. <laughs> yeah, I think we gave it, it to him. Too. If he didn't ask for it, I'm pretty sure it would have just gone in the trash. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then our final category would be below 59, which is not drinkable. Uh, rethink your life. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage whiskey. This would be the King's Chocolate Whiskey for sure. Yeah. Yeah, just not drinkable, disgusting, just wouldn't even touch it. Nope. Garbage. Hot garbage. garbage. So, as you can see from our list, I'll put it on screen here. That is what we're working with. Um, now you can go back to all of our reviews and kind of compare, you know, how we, you know, how we score our whiskeys. So, uh, you can look at that going forward. So you kind of understand our reasoning. Yep. Alright, guys, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in our next review. Bye.